Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time ever, thank you so much for stopping by. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, thank you for all the love and the support that you've been showing me. I really, really appreciate it. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how I made this beautiful box braid wig using a lace closure and some braid from Haven. So let's get right. So for this tutorial, you obviously need your mannequin head and your dome cap or your wig cap, whatever that works for you. I just feel that the dome cap is better for me because it's more secure on my head compared to the wig cap. You don't really need to use a new lace closure for this tutorial. I'll be using an old lace closure and what I'm going to do is just pin it on my dome cap and just sew it on. Come over and start up a conversation with just me And trust me, I'll give it a chance Now take my hand, stop and find the man on the jukebox And then we start So as I mentioned earlier on I'm using hair from a brand called Harvin Oh my gosh, they've got super, super, super good hair The quality is out of this world And the hair is by far the longest that I've seen on the market Oh, and you guys, the packaging I'm just in love with so if you guys want good quality hair here in China and would like to support a black owned brand, do check them out. As you can see, I've already braided half of the head and some parts at the back. I left some spaces in between because I don't want this wig to be super super full. So guys, I'm going to try and explain this the best way possible. So what I did was just stitch pieces of thread through my wig cap without tying so i stitch these pieces of thread throughout the wig cap just so that it can make it easier for me to braid on and then so that it can go a bit faster I then go ahead and take a small piece of the hair that i'm going to use to braid and from that same quantity i then take another smaller piece take the strings and stitch around it while tie a knot two times around it so I basically just take the remaining quantity and just braid around the hair that was knotted on the wig cap. So I do this around the entire head, but obviously have left some empty spaces as well. Because like I said, I don't want this hair to be so full. But if you know that you're going to tie a bun with this hair, rather put hair all over. So guys, for this wig, I used four packets of hair, three black and one maroon. I think it's called H1 and I cut it into five pieces and it was still long enough to go past my breastbone. Mm -hmm. I'm in love with the shape of you. So when you get to the top, you gotta make sure that it's as full as possible and all the empty spaces are covered because you don't want it to be showing when you'll be styling your front parts. So this is where most people have their questions on and the trick is just to use an old bleach lace closure and to just leave some hairs in front so that you can be able to pluck it out and create baby hairs later on. So I parted the lace closure in four neat sections and within those sections I parted it again in about four pieces and just made normal braids on it. So when you braid on the closure you gotta make sure that the closure is as flat as possible and you don't pull the closure so much otherwise it will tear and may cause those lumpy bumpy sections and may cause lumps and bumps. 
begin with going out. Et voila, c'est fini. So that's it, guys. Look at how pretty this hair is. This is just so beautiful. I love this hair. It's just out of this world. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video.